So this is one I made uh, just uh, this week, and it's recent, and it is uh, by Leonardo da Vinci, and it is a lady with uh, uh, an ermine, which is like, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, it's like it's like a weasel-looking animal. So I just wanted to do her face uh, as a drawing, and so you can see me doing it here. Now, I, I speeded it up a little bit because, you know, it takes a while to get through. This will be like 20 minutes. So I drew this da Vinci study uh, for this painting in about 20 minutes. So I'm using uh, my right hand to draw with, but I also use my left hand some to help me to see where I need to draw. Now I'm also drawing it upside down, of course, which I'd already said, but the drawing it upside down is to help me to get in touch with the right side of my brain when I'm drawing. Also it helps me to see really objectively when I am drawing the subject matter because uh, it's it's like it's constantly fresh I can't I can't just draw what I think is there I draw what I know is there so even when I make mistakes like on this one right here I draw her mouth and I draw her upper lip uh, too uh, full and so I have to fix it because she has very very thin upper lip but it just takes a while. I keep, I keep seeing that when I'm drawing. I'm like, I've got to fix that. And I finally do. But, I mean, you can see pretty much the the way I'm going about drawing it. So I, I pretty much start with the eyes and then work down to the nose and the mouth. And that's that's where I, I think everybody should would maybe benefit from going that route. Now, you draw it however you want, but I usually start with the eyes, nose, and mouth, and then work on the other features after that. So that's my recommendation is if you because if you don't get the eyes right it, it's all over anyway. So you got them you have to have them placed in there. Now you look at the side of her face there and you think that on the side of her face is a hair but no it's some kind of a of a garment that's worn on top of her head that comes around and under her chin. And I don't know what it is. So I'm going to try to draw it the best I can. So I have to keep widening out the face to get it right. Now, in a lot of these Leonardo da Vinci drawings, you notice the women have no eyebrows or eyelashes. And, and that's because uh, I looked it up and it's something about the fact that they were upper class. And it's kind of like a status thing. And they plucked all their eyebrows and eyelashes out. So they didn't have any to show. Uh, and this kind of gave them their status uh, uh, apart from people who didn't you know so they were some of the wealthier people and, and that's what he did he did a lot of drawings of wealthier uh, people like the Medici family so you'll see you'll see that kind of look with uh, these women I'm gonna draw some more da Vinci's probably but I'm also going to extend uh, this thing I'm doing out to other famous artists throughout history uh, and try to draw a lot of them as well. Right now I'm working on that side and I want to get, she has a, a cheekbones but they're not really prominent. And I've noticed some things about da Vinci's art like the way he does the corners of the eye that he keeps repeating again and again so I'm starting to pick up on some of the things he does when he draws a face like in the corners of the eyes or the mouth and the nose and so it's it's getting a little bit uh, easier in some ways the hardest thing that I, I find in this whole drawing thing is making the videos so uh, if you like my videos uh, do like and subscribe I've got them on YouTube, and if you want to follow along with me, or you just enjoy watching me draw these, these, then uh, please like and subscribe on YouTube. And if you want, you can uh, help support my content with uh, Patreon. I have a link on YouTube for that. But I really enjoy making these, and they're a lot of fun. Like I said, the hardest part about it is making the videos. But you can see right here I'm working on the eyes and the side of the face. I, I don't have a I don't have a shading stump. I probably should get one, but a lot of people out there don't and they just have number two pencils and copy paper and that's so what I'm using because you can't say, well he used fancy paper and fancy pencils. 
I don't have fancy paper and fancy pencils. I just have regular, regular Dollar Tree pencils and copy paper. You can get 500 sheets of paper, copy paper, for about four or five bucks. And even cheaper. I saw some the other day for like three dollars and some for 500 sheets and I was like yeah, that's, that's that's not bad so even if you messed up like uh, 30 of these you still have a lot of paper so I think it's a good idea to try it and, and do it upside down like I did and it might look right and it might not look right but you know you can always say well I drew it upside down and it looked terrible and then just draw it again so give it a try I'm going to continue drawing upside down. Uh, some things are, that I'm going to draw are going to be really simple. Like I, I drew a butterfly not long ago. And I kind of want to draw that one again. But put a, some clip art of a butterfly near it. So I can have something that I'm showing you that I'm working from. Instead of just drawing out of my head. Which uh, is not what... Even though I drew it upside down. I'd rather have something to go by. I think it would have looked a whole lot better. So I might redo that one. Uh, I think that would be a better approach to it. So this one's coming along. It's just uh, her face may be a little long, but then her face is kind of long in the picture itself. And when I tend to draw these, I always draw them a little larger than the picture I'm drawing them from. But yeah, this is called The Lady uh, with the Ermine. And you can look it up on uh, Google Images. And it's done by Leonardo da Vinci. And I think I finally get that mouth looking more more or less like it. Now mine doesn't look exactly like his, but mine kind of look like his, his drawings. At least to me right now. Maybe later on I'll think they look pretty bad. But for now I'm pretty happy with them. And so I enjoy making these drawings. They're uh, relaxing. But... You know, if they get to where the point uh, I'm not enjoying making them anymore, I think it'll be a real task. But I, I'm I'm really having fun making these uh, drawings upside down of famous uh, replicas of famous artists' work, like this one right here. I think it's coming along pretty good, and it's not it's not too it's not too bad to you know if you can knock one out in 20 minutes or less. I didn't time this one. Because I knew it had a lot of shading involved, especially with that veil over there on the side. So it's going to, you know, you're going to take a little while to have to work with it. I might try a timed one later. Uh, I did an infant not long ago, and I didn't time that one either. But, you know, I'm sometimes, and I'll tell you what it is, I just forget to turn the timer on. I really just want to enjoy drawing it. And I don't want to be uh, pushed to make it within like 15 minutes. But I usually uh, rush at it anyway. I go at it as hard as I can. Because I know that if I if I take too much time, uh, I'll get this like a fog that comes over me. that Where I can't see what it is I'm drawing objectively. And then I'm just making mistakes. Even upside down. But upside down at least, I can go further with it and not make as many mistakes as I would if I drew it right side up because when I draw it right side up I start drawing what I think is there not what is really there and that's not what I need to do her eyes may be a little too wide open her nose might be a little long but see these are like a struggle so you struggle through these and you try to get them to look as much as and you learn you learn when you do one of these and, and for goodness sakes just relax when you make them enjoy what you're doing it's not like the thing is a lot of people don't want to do this kind of thing because they're afraid they're going to not do a very good job and so they don't do it well you've already not done it you need to go ahead and try it and see how well it looks now, i know a few people who have tried it and they were pleasantly surprised by the fact that their drawing tended to look even better upside down than it did right side up when they drew it i mean because if you're drawing upside down Look at that, I just turned it around. I think it looks pretty good. I mean, I'm seeing it now from a different angle, so I'm working on it. That mouth needs work. That upper lip, it's just too full. I, I know what I did wrong, so I'm going to have to work on it. And so I might take it off camera for a minute and just puzzle over it because I know that 
top lip is too full. It's she has hardly any top lip at all. Just a hint of one. And so I've got to fix that. And the nose, of course. I think I've got the nose pretty good. You know, i got to get that shadow under the nose just right. And so I'm kind of following what he did. And I'm going to have to follow what he did with the mouth. And that's just erasing the mouth. And we'll see if I get that to look better. So as you watch me drawing it here, you can see I'm puzzling over it. And we'll see how far I can go to make it look better. And I think I've worked, uh, I took it off camera for a few minutes and put it back on. And now I'm working on trying to bring in the highlights. Make sure I've got that eye, that eye right. And that, that mouth, I've got to fix that. Eventually I think I do get it right. You know, the thing with his, if you draw a woman, you can't put eyebrows on her and you can't give her eyelashes. So that's right away, you know, you can't do that because uh, women of any status at that time in history, they didn't have any. I got to keep working on that mouth to get that mouth just right and thin enough to look right. Now, I'm not drawing all of the veil that's over to the left because... That's just a lot of shading, and I'm not really wanting to draw all that. I mean, I could. I just shade it all in. I can't remember if I did or not. It's really not a big deal. If I were doing like a, a full-size painting, I would, or probably not even then, because I just paint in there in that area. And these are studies. These are me doing a replica of one of his studies, or if I do a replica of some other famous artist study that they later made into a painting. Sometimes I I do drawings from paintings, but if I can find where they did a pencil drawing, I'd much rather try to replicate that than a painting. Because paintings are not drawings. And the detail, and a lot of times, just it just will not be there like it will be in a drawing. That's coming along pretty good. I just have to make sure I've got that mouth right. It's thinner. So, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, there's some things that I could make better. If I did it again, I might I might make it even better. So, this is my first time drawing this one. And so, I'm pretty happy with it as a first attempt. I think if I drew it again, I would try to draw it even better. I don't know what I would change on it, but I'm pretty sure when I draw it again, it'll look better. Hopefully, it might look worse. And that's just the thing you have to go by, is that uh, you're going to try. And no matter what it looks like, it's not it's not you. It's it's your artwork. So if it doesn't come out right, don't, don't be, get upset with yourself. I think I got that eye looking a little better now. But when I started this, I drew most of this upside down. So it's really hard for me to change a lot of it. All I can do is a little fine details now. There it is. That's not bad. It's coming along. Pretty sure there's still a few things I need to fix on it, though. So if you're drawing along with me on this kind of thing, uh, it'll probably take a little bit longer. You can always pause the video. I remember studying uh, about Leonardo da Vinci and other famous artists when I was at college at Berea. And he's one of them I studied a lot. And this one right here is uh, one of his famous... This is a study from one of his famous paintings. I think I, on this, at this point right now, I've got the mouth right. I, I did draw it thin enough to where I believe it looks better. And I put the cheekbones in there. Maybe I put them in there a little, a little too much. That's, that's overworking. But, I mean, I'm trying to get them in there. You can see her cheek there. Uh, maybe just a bit much. Maybe I've given her too much cheekbone now. I think it's coming along. I mean, for a 20-minute drawing, it's, 
I'm pretty happy with it, but you know, I think if I did it again, I could make it even better. So, if you want to draw this, I, I think it's a good one to uh, do a, a drawing of. You can't really go too wrong with it. But uh, do it on copy paper if you would, and uh, try it with a number two pencil. That's all I'm using. Now, I got some nice ones the other day. Uh, at the Dollar Tree, I found some that were made by Crayola. And the only thing about them is they're round, and they're kind of hard to hold. So my hand cramps up a bit with them. Uh, the ones that are like regular number two pencils that are beveled all the way around are easier to hold. So I have to get used to these that are round all the way around. But yeah, I think maybe I need to bring more highlights up on that left eye. I mean, but you know, I've already drawn it, so it's it's done. If I did another one, I would change it some. This one's it's not too bad I hope you like it so if you like my drawing and my rambling about creating artwork please like and subscribe on YouTube and I just wanted to thank you for watching the video I think I rubbed a hole in it right there by her nose yeah I did um, some of these erasers on these pencils are just too hard for this paper and it'll just rub right through the paper